You know, it's super awkward when you are in charge of oversight over an industry, Mm -hmm. let's say. And let's say you're also a congressperson. Oh, bye, Bradley. Uh, Let's say you're also a congressperson from Indiana and you want to hold people to account, some of these bankers. You'll recall that back in 2008, these bankers were responsible for throwing the, the, the world into a financial crisis, one which cost them almost, well, let's just say several million Americans their homes and jobs and took really almost a decade until the jobs bounced back. And there was tremendous amount of fraud associated with this. And you're performing oversight. And your name is Representative Trey Hollingsworth, Republican from Indiana. And you're trying to make it clear that you are really holding these people to account. And then this happens. From Indiana, Mr. Hollingsworth is now recognized for five minutes. Well, good afternoon. I'm excited to be here with each of you. Before I get started on my questions, Mr. Moynihan, I wanted to let you know, Saruthi, raise your hand, Saruthi. She has been my team member for a couple of years now, but on Monday, she becomes a Bank of America team member, about which she is very, very excited. So I hope you'll take good care of her and know and recognize the talent that she has shown already in our office. I'm sure she'll do the same at Bank of America. We will do that, and her father already works for us, so he'll take care of it. You should have called us. (laughs) Um, well, good. Well, I appreciate the opportunity to chat about some of these issues today. Oh, they get a chat. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, oh, it's a family affair, too. You know, what's really sort of like stunning? There is. And I wonder if he, I mean, like, I mean, I guess maybe it's just a coincidence that the oversight of U.S. banks put that Chiron back up because that is so awesome. Yeah. Whoever put this together. Good job with the, uh, the smash zoom ins. This is C-SPAN, incidentally. Right. And here he is, oversight of U.S. banks. Thank you for giving my uh, staffer, my longtime staffer, a job at the bank where I'm going to perform. Oh, well, no worries. Her dad's been working here for years. It's a family affair. It really is stunning how there is such a tremendous lack of embarrassment that's the thing is is like we know this stuff happens behind the scenes but to say it so publicly and and just in the middle of when you're being filmed just be like oh we're all in this together yeah that's the galling part for me yeah we like to uh, talk about how much has changed because of like occupy and the bernie sanders run and uh, not enough um, <laughs> no. is ultimately uh, the conclusion there i mean i i don't know if anybody mentioned anything probably not because i would imagine there's a lot of people on that committee regardless of party that have staffers who are working for banks or intend to work for banks yeah. did work for banks will work for banks again but it would have been nice if somebody said like does anybody here not think it's a problem that there's like such a revolving door that it really like literally like how about this how about we just take our staff and just let them walk across the carpet and sit behind you how about we just start sharing an office honestly we could cut down on some real estate space and just make it make it a whole uh, joint operation it would be easier to talk and not have to make calls and email right you could just be in the same space yeah L-O-L. <laughs> L M F A O. We got to talk about um, uh, <laughs> the context of that. You know, bro, bra, dude. <laughs> Matt's sitting in the right seat today, folks. Um, 